Greetings, dear friends! I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Volvo S70. As already mentioned, the vast majority of S70s are front-wheel drive, but in theory there are options with all-wheel drive through a vicious coupling. Technically, they differ little from the later all-wheel drive cars of the brand. Until 2003, these transmission elements were used on the V70 XC and all-wheel drive S80. And even after the angular gearbox of the 5-speed icing automatic machines and the 6-speed manual gearboxes, it remained almost unchanged, maintaining compatibility. So, with the repair and replacement of all-wheel drive transmission units, special problems are not expected, except that the resource of the vicious coupling itself was limited to about 10 years, after which it requires high-quality restoration. This operation is quite within the power of the service. For front-wheel drive cars with powerful motors, CV joints remain in the risk zone, especially the classes of internal triplets. They are where, after runs of 150 to 100,000, may be sufficient for the appearance of vibrations and noise at speed, as well as the appearance of vibrations on the car standing in the drive due to backlash. But now the class of the hinge can still be purchased new, since the transmission elements from the S60 are suitable. Manual gearboxes M56, M58 and M66 were developed for the 850s, then used on the S70 and on the next S60. The average service life before the bulkhead with the replacement of the bearing set is 250-300,000 km. Differential bearings are especially affected and for active drivers synchronizers are also worn out. Collapsing rings of compound synchronizers, as in the early design options, can now be found only on a miraculously found box with runs up to 50,000. Surprisingly, such units come across in used units from Japan. But the problem is treated quite simply and inexpensively. These boxes generally get over very well. The clutch lives 120-150 thousand. The replacement kit is expensive by the standards of old cars, but you can keep within 30 thousand rubles in 2019 prices. Particularly economical owners have a chance to get by with only 5-6 thousand, but with the risk of removing everything in the near future due to the release bearing or the weakening of the basket which is important for motors with a capacity for over 200 forces. The main automatic transmission for this car is the 4-speed iSYN AW50-42LE. It is almost the same as on the Saab, but with a belt and well body. This box is unhurried, undemanding to the quality and timing of oil changes and is generally very reliable. Of course, powerful motors, racers and a very ugly service can finish it off too. The main reasons for the problems are typical. Dirty oil, it's overheating and wear of the rear cover caliper rings as well as cranks in the drums and wear of the planetary gear, but the later is already with runs of under 500,000. If the gearbox works, then with the regular oil change, the driver has no racing ambitions and the engine torque is less than 320 nanometers, it will most likely outlive the car itself. If something went wrong, then the chances of repairing it are very good. The unit to be repaired is relatively simple, but it is cheaper to find a used copy in good condition. A separate line will have to mention the type of oil. The fact is that the filling of T4 or 3309 oil practiced by the service improves the quality of the gearbox cold, but noticeably reduces the capabilities of the transmitted power. With powerful motors, this leads to rapid burning of the drive, reverse clutches and the subsequent failure of the box. In this case, repairs are quite cheap, even the box cannot be removed from the machine, but the filter will clog and the operating pressure will drop even with the correct oil. But replacing the filter in turn will require half the automatic transmission and it's easier to immediately carry out major preventive repairs, not only with replacing the drive reverse and Teflon seal rings but also revising the planetary gear and differential, replacing the front clutches and clearing the higher box. Another feature of this box on this S70 is the poor performance of the cooling system. In urban conditions, the temperature goes over 100 degrees. It is highly recommended to install an external radiator in addition to the heat exchanger in the automatic gearbox. Minor problems with the selector and the selector bushings are usually solved by cleaning, lubricating and selecting a suitable nylon bushing, for example from a roof nail cap or turning from nylon to propylene again. Later fire-speed automatic transmissions of the Isin AW5550LE series, which were installed after the upgrade on 2.4 and 2.5 engines, are a completely different matter. Gearboxes of the 5550 and 5551 series and later didn't differ without problems, requiring frequent oil changes and expressive valve body repairs. If it's cleanliness 
and temperature were not monitored. In addition, the S70 has the very first and problematic revisions of this box. If you come across a car with a still alive 5 stage, then the oil needs to be changed often every 20-40,000. An external filter is required, an external radiator is also necessary, and any oddities in the operation of the automatic transmission can be symptoms of extremely unpleasant problems. If the box is already dead or dying, take a closer look at the idea of installing a later iSYN AW5551. We'll have to replace the brains with the S60 version starting in 2003, but there are a few worrying improvements. If the car is planned to be operated for a long time and actively, this is an option. The basis of the S70 range of engines is the good old 5-cylinder modulars developed by Volvo, but the 5-cylinder diesel here is here with Audi. The motors do not have any common problems, except that the suspension is complex and expensive for everyone. There are many supports and they cost a lot. The package of radiators here is very tight, it's difficult to clean it and it easily clogged with dirt, especially in supercharged engines, where there are already three radiators. The fuel equipment of gasoline cars is simple, and even turbo engines are not very capricious to the fuel pressure. Turbocharged turbines from Mitsubishi MHI TD04 in various versions reliable and powerful enough. Typical problems of motors of this family are oil leaks, oil appetite and of the piston group due to the occurrence of rings and wear of valve oil seals and clogged ventilation. The throttle on turbocharged motors also suffers from leaks and wear of the conductive tracks. The simplest engine options are 10 valve engines with 2.0 B5202FS and 2.4 B5252FS liters. The motors have a simple timing and cylinder head. The safety margin is very large, but the power is not enough for such a machine 126 144 horsepower. Partially, however, a good moment at the bottom helps out. 2.4 engines with a naturally aspired 20 valve cylinder head are already B5254S with 170 horsepower, which is more than enough for a not very heavy car. But leaks more complex timing, electronic throttle and cracks in the exhaust manifold increase the cost of operation and the number of breakdowns. The phase regulator valve of 20 valve motors tends to leak at runs over 200 and influence the timing belt with oil, after which it slip the inevitable meeting of pistons and valves is a matter of several minutes of engine operation. In general, you have already understood that you need to keep an eye on the fuzzy. The B5254T and B5244T motors have the same displacement of 2435 cubic centimeters and 193 horsepower and are the basic version of the supercharged engine on the S70. Everything is the same as in the B5254S, but it also adds a turbine and a more complex intake. Above are the requirements for the engine management system, fuel and oil quality. These motors do not like low viscosity oil such as OW20 and 5W30, especially in summer. The chances of finding a live motor are significantly lower than for any other. The 2.3 liter B5234 T3 and B5233 T4 engines for sport modifications are seriously strengthened and designed for higher boost pressure. Regular 240 250 horsepower for them, not the limit at all, with the replacement of the turbine with the TD0419 HL. They are capable of 350 plus forces without any special alterations, except that it is better to change the intercooler and conjure with the fuel equipment. The injectors and the pump in the drain are rather weak. Considering that such motors were installed on the T5 and R versions of the S70, it is not worth counting on the fact that grandfather went to church on it. The wear will be like that of a sports car engine that is very high, despite the fact that this particular one bears the Volvo brand. The 2.0 supercharged engines of the B5204 T3 series on the S70 are exotic, but they are found among the cars brought from Italy and France. In fact, this is a low-volume version of motors 2.3, also reinforced and with a good boost margin. Diesel engines of German origin D5252 T are much easier to find under a maiden name, like Audi, Volkswagen AJT or ACB. It is a simple and reliable 10-valve supercharged diesel engine with a conventional electronic injection pump, but it was installed on commercial Volkswagen equipment, so it will be difficult to find a live copy. They are even used, usually sold with mileage well over 300,000. The main problem is cylinder head wear or cracking when using sulfurous diesel fuel. 
as well as problems with the fuel equipment due to wear. The owners of the transporters are aware of the fact that Volvo has an engine with Volkswagen, and they are willing to buy them so there is a shortage of used units. And do not look at the options for a sale at a price below the baseboard, such options usually won't 500,000, and their residual resource is minimal. All this information about the problems of the Volvo S70 is exhausted. If you know more or do not agree with what you heard, I'm waiting for you in the comments.